What's happening, folks? The boy Fat Tater coming at you live with a woodworking project. Not too proud of. Uh, I was tasked with uh, building a triangular shelf. I was like, what? I ain't never built no triangles. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, went, went to the interwebs and found a picture or something. I'm like, yeah, I could try to do that. I'll go to the cursed workshop and see what I can slap together. A uh, couple of regrets. Uh, used some reclaimed wood, which I always try to do. If I have some scrap wood I could use, I'll use it. Stuff I use as part of a porch or a ramp or something. I don't remember where it came from, but I had planks. You know, I had some scrap. Warped all the hell. Did the best I could. Um... Cleaned it up, sanded it. I mean, they were filthy. They had dried algae on it or something. Did a little hand planing. I should have planed the whole board first before I decided to cut it, but I was so into trying to figure out how to do a 60 degree cut with a miter saw. I could have used, um, well, I couldn't have used a circular saw the way I had to cut it. But I went to the internet again. I'm like, how the fuck do you do this? I was trying to look back into my high school days of, of uh hell, i don't even remember what it's called with it uh i don't see i don't you know <laughs> it's a math class and uh i don't know but anyways miter saw circular saw will only go 45 degrees so i learned by watching and you're supposed to make like cut a piece of wood at 30 slap it up against the fence and put your board up against it and go at a zero degree with it straight down with the saw to cut all right because i want to show you what i'm talking about uh, oh there it is <clears throat> anywho this thing here i just used a piece of two by four from a railing off the porch i had to replace a piece or something i don't remember anyway that is a little piece and I'm like, all right, fuck it, see what happens, man. So, stuck it on there, like so. All right. And then, come down with the, you slide the wood, right here. I got a piece, I got a piece right here, a little scrap piece. I had to cut it like, like this. Slide up in there. And then I'm like, all right, I did it. It made a 60. Well, guess what? This fucking piece of wood's too tall. And it hit the damn... That thing right there. Coming down. I'm like, fuck. So then I had to move... I had to move this over here. And do it again. And then, of course, the cuts didn't line up. I was frustrated. My heart wasn't in it, to be honest with you. I was just like, fuck it. Let me just knock this out. And now after doing it... I figure if it's going to be a shelf, it's going in the house. Just get some new goddamn straight wood if you can find it. Everywhere is fucking... Sorry my language, but... You can't find fucking straight wood anywhere. Am I right? Those people actually try. You go through, like, Lowe's or Home Depot, and you're looking through the pile. The pile of shit. And you're like, oh, fuck, this one's cracked. This one's got fucking knots. Fixing the fallout, which I don't mind not. I think it look cool. Um, anyways, this wood here, you can't even tell it was filthy. I cleaned it up. It's fairly good. I mean, some pieces, it just it, there's like gouges in it you couldn't really get to. But anyway, there it is. And I was told, well, why didn't you just do a whole piece, like a straight piece all the way up instead of coming up here? Like, well, that's the way the picture looked. I looked up, goddammit. <laughs> Anyways, it's somewhat straight level. I don't know. I mean, look at my sign out here, man. I don't know, the lighting. I replaced all the lights in here. It's bright as hell. I don't know if you can see it. Curse workshop. That's all crooked. Everything I do is crooked, man. Like, I can't help it. I think I got one leg longer than the other or something. Who cares? But, anyway, 
get a closer look. Got a knot here. See all that brown, that black, dark stuff? I couldn't get to that. But that's what the whole piece looked like, man. But I think it's all right, man. It, it popped out. You know what I mean? Some knots in there. Mm-mm-mm. The knot right there. Oh, about fucked up there. I just got done. Do another coat of sealant. And it's squeezing out some of the holes. I'm glad I caught that now. Let's go to the lager when it dried. far so good on that side anyway oh damn i forgot to put the lid back on the sealant on a wall walked out here and i would have been so mad at myself i would have kicked my dog there we go glad i caught that um yeah i was tired of uh been working and doing stuff on the house, the new house and stuff, and I was just like, man, I'm over this shit. Been, I had to put my electric, electrician hat on, and it's been a while since I've done any electrical work, and I was like, how do you hook up breakers again? Anyways, I figured it out, got it. Past inspection. Um, I hired a, an electrician to do a lot of the stuff. Um, he's young. He knew what he was doing. Um, he just didn't do everything I wanted him to do. <laughs> He's just busy, I guess. You know, he, he, but come to find out, oh, I'm gonna have a seat. Come to find out, he didn't have a license. <laughs> I was like, oops. So I said, all right, well, I text him. I said, because the power company is like, I need your, let me get my head in this light. Oh, almost, there we go, right as the sun in here. Um, I said, hey man, uh, I need your electrician license to pass an inspection that they need it or something. He goes, oh, I don't have one. I'm like, huh? He goes, no, you can just do a homeowner's uh, permit. I'm like, okay. So I Googled it, looked it up, and where I'm, in the county I'm in, in the great state of Tennessee, um, it's true. Permit cost thirty five dollars. Um, oh, farted. Let's see. Um, I also purchased. I fucked up and purchased a final inspection. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And the inspector's like, "What'd you buy this for?" And I didn't even talk to the guy. He contacted the power company. The power company called me and like, they're like, "Yeah, you you bought a wrong permit. You have to get that permit from when everything's done." I was like, no. Oh, I said, well, electrician, the electrical stuff's done. And they're like, no, no, no. They got to have a sticker on the breaker from the company that hooked up the HVAC and all that. I'm like, oh, the HVAC wasn't in yet. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. God. My, that's just 35 bucks. I'm like, fuck it, hell with that. I buy another one. Anyways, that happened. Um, I ran some, I ran the wire to the well. There's no county or city water here. Um, and the water pipe, did all that shit myself with the help of my lovely children. Um, made it a lot faster, big help. And, uh, did everything I was told to do up to code. Um, all that shit passed. I was like, all right, I know what the fuck I'm doing. And check this out, man. The house, they only put like one electrical outlet out on the back. I'm like, well... All right, well, I just, so I had to buy electrical, outdoor electrical outlets, put one in the front, put one on the side where I'm planning on parking the vehicle, so you got, like, a vacuum hooked up out there, so I'm cleaning the cars out, and, uh, and I, oh, I found some, uh, conduit, I totally forgot about, it, it was, like, some conduit laying around, around this, uh, power pole, and we, there was, like, trees everywhere, he cut it all down, cleaned it up, and I said, hey, man, I might be able to use this one day, so he kept it. After I bought uh, the conduit, it was three quarter inch, and I was like, and I was looking in the shed because I was going to uh, pull everything, clean everything out of it. It was like a little piece of shit shed, and I was going to store firewood in there for this here uh, cursed workshop. And I was like, and I found it. I said, oh shit, I forgot about this. So I ended up using that, and I took some sticks back. No, I didn't. I kept them. My bad. I kept them because this plant is like a, a concrete slab 
that uh, I was told it used to be a, a silo. And I was planning on building like a gazebo or something there. And I was going to run power out to it. You know, have a grill out there or something. Let's dive in a big slab. God damn, there's light. Oh, there's lights everywhere. <sighs> anyway, so everything's working out good. Um, people that sold me the house are like, I know. Oh, I noticed some rust underneath when I was underneath there. And I guess when they brought it, there was salt on the roads because it was ice or whatever. And I guess the salt got on the frame and it's starting to rust out. So I told the people, I say, uh, someone come fix that, please. And it's gonna, I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna rust out completely, like when I'm too goddamn old to do it. And I'll be like, ah, oh, I wish I would have done that back when I was in my late 30s, 40s. Um, anyway, so they're supposed to come out this week, do that, deal with that. Oh, and then a couple of the pillars that supports the house isn't even touching. So they're going to come out and fix that, supposedly. Uh, but the lady told me, she, I was like, it's been a, she asked me if anyone's come out. I said, I don't know. It's been a little bit since I've been out, had a chance to get out there. And she goes, you ain't moved in yet? I'm like, no. She goes, you can move in. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, I just live, like, across the creek. And all this is the, is the property, so... I mean, I'm just taking my time. I hooked the trailer up to the side by side. Have the kids start loading up the totes that was shit that we hadn't even taken out or used. Went through, went through some of it, but shit that we don't really use daily. So I haven't take all that shit over there. Still got a bunch of shit. But again, I'm not in no rush, so it's not a big deal. It's not like I got a U-Haul and renting. I'm like, God damn, hurry up. <laughs> oh. Anyways, yeah, I was tired of, of dealing with all that, being an electrician and a plumber, and I just wanted to do some woodworking. I got another project to do. It's supposed to be like a, a, a letter thing, like a, a letter holder thing, um, but it has like doors. It's like, picture a rectangle, and then it has like, I think she said she wanted two doors, my mama. And the door is like flop open. You slide shit in or take shit out, whatever. And uh, like, yeah, I ain't never done shit like that before. So that'd be, that'd be aggravating. Probably do some cussing. But other than that, man, everything else is going. Um, because of the house situation, I haven't had a chance to really start clearing out more of the property. I did. Yeah, I cleared out some stuff. We still got stuff to burn, like a giant ass tree that fell over. Cut, but I'm gonna try to get to that soon. Uh, son took some pictures of before, and like in the middle of the project of clearing the spot out, and he wants to take another one when it's over. I guess show his buddies or something. But man, this this Tennessee weather is something. This morning, you had to have a fucking jacket on. And now, short sleeve and almost sweating. And it's getting, I don't know, it's like 7, going on 8 o'clock. I gotta get back to the house because it's spooky as hell out here. When it's dark. <laughs> last, last night, I was out in this work curse, or the curse workshop to like, I got done, I looked at the clock, it was like 8.15. And then like, I listened, I was jamming out with some music and uh, I was doing some stuff and I, and the music stopped. And I heard, Whoa. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Then the music kicked back on and I turned my speaker, my Bluetooth speaker off and I heard it again, I'm like, I ain't got no gun on me, man. I usually like to carry a gun when I'm out and about. You never know what you're going to run into. Maybe some coyotes. Some anacondas. Rhinos. I don't know. Who knows, man. But I didn't have a gun on me. I was like, oh, shit. Anyway, I stepped out. I looked. Nothing was there. And I kept checking behind me like real quick. Like, oh, nothing there. So that was a little spooky. Grass is growing again. 
It's crazy, man. Like it's, it's like cold. And as soon as it starts to warm up, my grass is like, hello, we're here. <laughs> like the leaves. I mean, I wasn't really paying close attention, but the leaves on the trees are just like, one day they're like, poof. <laughs> like it was all bare and then green. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Like spring just sprung up on me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll get some, get that long video with everything, with everything we've done. Put it and slap it all together. Once the house is complete, they still uh, got to, after they do all the stuff they got to do underneath, they're going to come out and do the permanent foundation. Um, I'll do a video after they get done with that. But I got to add, this is like later on in life because it costs a lot of money, but I'm going to add a front porch. And I got right now, I got a temporary ramp I fucked up on. I made it like, I had the measurements. And I'm like, all right, the ramp's got to be at least eight foot. With, so it won't be too steep. Well, I looked around in the barn, in the shop, everywhere. I was like, hey, well, we got these uh, two by eights or two by sixes or whatever they were. But they're only like, one's like seven foot. One's like seven and a half. I'm like, fuck it. Slapped it together. Got a little platform. Made it super stout, man. Like, you can fit, like, ten of me on there, and it ain't going nowhere. And I go to walk up it, and my knees, I get my knees are going bad on me, but goddamn, I was like, this ain't going to work. <laughs> you know what's that? Like, use, like, a goddamn rope tied to the house to pull yourself up. So, anyway, uh, got some more wood. I, <laughs> did I buy some? I had to buy more uh, planks, because I was all out of good planks. That would be long enough. Um, I think I found some more wood and I just added it to it. Like I just couldn't, or I took the screws back out and I pulled the whole ramp part back, made some uh, different four by fours for a support. And I found another two by four for the middle. And then I reattached it all. And now it's great. Still pretty stout. I mean, it moves a little bit only because I half-assed down towards the ground. And I'm like, fuck it, it's good, good shit. You know, it's, I keep saying it's temporary, it's temporary, it don't matter. We painted it, put that, like, uh, grit paint on there for help you in that slide. When it's ice, you're going to slide no matter what, so that's going to be fun. There's no railing on it. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to put a railing. Or coyotes. And someone's dog's going ape shit. Anyway, uh, it's not quite dark yet. So. Pack of them. If I die, that's what got me, guys. Pack of coyotes. <laughs> I love this shit. Anyways, um, oh man, my neighbors, they're like, I think during the day, I saw him at one of the neighbor's uh, viewings. Like, he passed away. Sad, man. He's a good dude. But one of the other neighbors is like, I mean, the other day we saw, like, these big coyotes in broad daylight, man. They're coming towards you, and they're chickens. They're worried about our chickens. I'm like, oh, my God. So when was this? She's like, it was like 11. I was like, I was at work. What am I supposed to do? You know, my stepdad's over there, you know. Maybe he can do something. But I'm like, I'm at work. I, I can't drive home from work to shoot some coyotes. Although it would be fun, but no, I said they ain't mess. They ain't we're not missing any chickens, man. I don't like killing stuff that's not necessary. You know, I got a soft spot, soft spot for animals, anyways, man. But I'm, not, I'm rambling, ain't I? I'm just trying to catch up with everything. I do them. It's like nonstop. I get done with work and I come home and I work. And then on the weekends I work. So I'm always doing something, which I'm not, I'm blessed, really. Like I'm, I, I, I have yet to run out of stuff to do. You know, it's great, man. I love, I love doing this stuff. You know, 
as I pictured, when I finally get the front porch done, I'm gonna do the front porch first and the back porch. Once I get the back porch done and screened in, the mosquitoes aren't as bad here, but they get bad. Like they're small, and you don't notice them, and it's like, God damn, you start itching real bad. But like in Florida, you could feel them hit you. Like they land on you, like you go, mm, what the hell? oh shit, it's here. Um, but yeah, I figure once I get the back porch done, I'm gonna kick my feet up, watch the sunset, have a glass of whiskey, some sort of whiskey. Watch the sunset, you know. And then the next day, get up and start doing something else. It's fun, man. I love it. We're gonna, um, I decided, I was contemplating whether to take this barn down keep it and I decided I was going to keep it I like it it's come in handy for storage the outside I think it, they, the outside panels are cypress or not cypress cedar and it's starting to deteriorate like one piece fell it looks like shit really to be honest with it but the inside it's got good bones as they say a good bone man uh, so I want to do the cedar redo that I found out there's a lumber mill like Two seconds away, I can walk there. And I just found out they sell to the public. And it's not, they're, they're not planed. It's just straight, like you cut the damn tree up, and they're like, here you go. So it's cheap. And I'm gonna, um, the shitty thing is, they're only open Monday through Friday. And while I'm at work. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. But when I'm ready, I'll make it happen. So we're gonna do that thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the traditional. It's not painted. I want to do the, tr the traditional red, or maybe hot pink. <laughs> I don't know. Probably just red. Uh, but I mean, it stays dry in there. Uh, the roof's good. It's a tin roof, no problems. Um, carpenter bees uh, are having their way with it. And they're freaking bad, man. Um, it's like I learned everything here that's made of wood. If you want to keep it good, you better paint it. Not from rot, but from carpenter bees. They just, they chew, chew, chew. I put traps out and catching them. But once you, uh, the back porch and the front porch, once we painted it again, like it was getting kind of rough. So we painted it and there's been less of them. The carport at the old house is, they're, they're, they tore it up, man. I'm, I don't know. One day it's going to collapse. And uh, I'll just rebuild it. Maybe uh, redo it with wood or just tear it all down and put like a metal carport there or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out when the time comes. But it's all got to be painted. So we can get at, get at it again. Well... All this stuff in here, man. I think I did a video before. Um, minus the the chipboard that's on the walls. But most of this wood that I built the workbench out of. Minus this piece. But this. I brought this up from Florida with me. I built it. I'm like, fuck, I'm taking it. It used to have wheels on it. I took the wheels off, set it down. But everything else, man. The plywood. I got this from a buddy's house uh, who's moving out. And he goes, hey, man, I got three-quarter inch plywood in the attic. You want it? I'm like, uh, do a bear shit in the woods? Yeah, I'll take it. But that came from Florida. But the rest of the stuff came from this property, man. All the shells over here, over yonder. All that stuff, man. Reclaimed. A lot of it came from the back porch. They had like an above ground pool, and like a half circle thing, like deck around it. And uh, I tore it all down because we didn't need it. And the pool's not here, so I'm like, fuck it. I mean, it's unsightly. It was nasty looking, so I took it all out. And uh, that's what I used, man. And stuff in the barn that the guy left. I did, I, man, every, and every time I go to Lowe's, guys, look. 
oh, I can't remember. We don't have a Home Depot here. But the Lowe's here, man, they got that. Uh, in the lumber, they got the 50% off cart, man. I found some treasures, man. Treasures. I mean, every time I go there, I'm like, Whoa, what's this, man? Shit. And like, a lot of it's crooked, cracked, or what have you. And, uh, but 50% off, maybe if you can, it might be like a 16 foot board and it's cracked like halfway through. Well, you can cut the bad piece off and then you and like cut and like send it through a table saw and you get two by fours out of it, you know? I mean, you can't go wrong, man. But yeah, I mean, I've been hitting that shit up big time, dude. I've been spent. Like, every time I go there, they sucker me in, though, man. They're like, hey, I'll go look at that 50% that off car. I'm like, oh, shit. I get excited like a kid in a candy store. And next thing you know, I'm walking out, like, spent over $100. I'm like, oh, they got me again, man. <laughs> we'll fucking use it. It'll get used. I've got other, all types of projects and stuff. Made a... Uh, made a sign uh, it was really like a piece of wood like a two by ten like a and uh i cut it and then i use a router and i cut the edge of the corners so it's like it comes up and cuts in goes across cuts down cuts in. and i put it through the router table make a nice little edge on it and I, they painted uh yeah both of them say welcome I found this online. I'm not going to take credit for it. I saw it online. I was like, I want that shit. I want to make it. But it says, go away. Like, down. Go away. And at the bottom, it says, go and get. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> I made that. But we got to get the front porch up before I can put that out. It's supposed to, it's made like the lean. I thought, I was like, well, we can hang it. I'm like, all right. Good deal, man. So, um, I made some other stuff too, man. What did I? I don't remember now. I made something. I don't know. It was something funny. Oh, it was something for the kids' bathroom. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. I'll think of it later, or show you, or take you on a tour the house and you'll probably see it hanging up one day or something you can get a get a good laugh out of it you know this is a better spot it's not as bright i can't tell if it's my camera's dirty or the screen is dirty like i, I bought I, I cracked the old case i was leaning up against something i work with metal now and it's like an i beam or something I pressed up against and cracked it. it didn't crack the phone thank god I was like, oh shit, I need a new case. So I went back to the old beefy one and I forgot I had the screen protector on the phone. I take it off. I, I didn't take it off. I just like rattled right with it. And now it's super hard to press shit on here. <laughs> I didn't clean it too good. So if it's dirty, if the screen, if the picture's fucked up, oh, my bad, man. I don't know. I just I get frustrated sometimes and don't follow through with things. Especially with electronics. You get aggravated easy with it. Oh, if you remember my other video, man, with the, my, my buddy Jackie Brown, the horse. She's gone. Uh, they gave her to some people down the street. Um, the guy's daughter likes horses, and he didn't. The horse is not making any money for him. You know, it was just like a pet. And he's like, man, he quit. Wanting to spend money on her, and it's just costing a lot. And he's like, "You want?" Her? I said, yeah, "I can't afford that thing, man. I'd love to. I got the room. I ain't got a good fence. I still got to put fences up. I just want to deal with goats and stuff. But I was like, I, I can't afford her. But I got one of the. I don't know what you call it, like the reins that go around the head and the mouth or whatever the snout. I said, like, "I can't have this, man. I remember by." He's like, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> so that was cool. Well, uh, caution, pooping in progress. Got that hanging. I just keep, I keep forgetting what's the stuff I have. And then I'll find it, like a sign or something. I'm like, oh man, you hang that up. So I'll hang it up somewhere. 
I did. Oh, my little gnome. A little gnome over there. Can you see it? I'll get closer. He's taking a dump. I had him up high somewhere and he fell and the head the hat broke off. He's he's still cool. I still like looking at him sometimes and laughing like Yeah. I do that. <laughs> I poop too. Yeah, man. Oh now it's getting dark, man. So I wanna get where coyotes get me. Hope y'all enjoy. Uh, some more videos coming your way, hopefully soon. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, Fat Tater out.